How do you assess uh, the Trump administration? He's going to be here on Friday, but you've, you've trolled him a little bit occasionally on Twitter. But we've also had this, this tax reform plan. Look, there's a lot of stuff that I like. And probably if I just added, you know, looked at it and I'd say I like a lot more stuff than I don't like. And some of the stuff I don't like, I really don't like. And ironically, the stuff I tend not to like is not as substantive. It goes to, well, some of it is, and some of it is social aspects of it. And I've been, I've said this, but I don't want to be, you know, hypocritical either. I've really liked what he's done for the economy. And I think he's gone out of his way uh, to be very, very supportive of the system. And I don't want to be antagonistic to that. And, I, and frankly, frankly I, thought, I, I want to honor that. I thought about how I'd ask you that, that question in, in that you basically just did a Ben Franklin close. You put the positives on one side, the negatives on the other, and the positives that way. Are you now happy about the outcome of the election, or do you still wish the other candidate had won? Well, that's a compound question. Um, just a yes or no. Or you know, I don't have to. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm very good at you know being a risk kind of guy. I, I kind of adapt to the way the world is. But you like tax I would reform. Say that tax reform would not have happened, Lloyd. True. I, I think the market would be lower. I'd be dealing with more regulation, compounding. Right. Much regulation and in some respects. Sounds, yes, I would have more of it. You're, you're happy with the outcome. Uh, I'd say the animal spirits are out there and a little bit more uh, vital than they would have been otherwise. I'd say the country might be a bit less polarized, but I'm not even sure about that, to right. give the point, because right. there's a lot of, you know, not one party is responsible for the polarization. And by the way, it's really the extreme wing of both parties that are responsible for it. And I'd love to find the moderates stepping up no, and, uh, and compromising. And again, I want to be, you know, true. It's not just the policies themselves in a gross kind of macro way, you know, tax reform. I think we're going to go up onto a period where we're going to push for infrastructure spending, you know, et cetera. You think 3% is doable? If, if you and Diamond both say 3% is doable, then I'm ready to just call it doable. I think Andrew, three, I, I, you I, do. I, I do think it's durable. J Jamie said doable potentially 4% in the quarter this year. You know, let me tell you, you have to get to 3% on the way to 4%. So <laughs>